Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we went to the Tri-Pillar Tower, or just the Tri-Pillar, as the game calls it, and, um, kicked its butt rather royally. Now, really quickly, I had read a thing... I had read a thing about the mayor. We must have money to redevelop the town. Must have money to re... Uh, okay. Who do I talk to about this? We all have to work together to rebuild our town. I've organized the Adelheid Restoration Committee to oversee the reconstruction of Adelheid. We need money for our reconstruction efforts. Would you please donate 500 gila? Sure. Thank you. This money will be used well. I certainly hope so. But yeah, uh, so we will be going to the Giant's Tower. The Giant's Cradle, as it's called. But I kind of... in. Curious as to how, how how fast the restoration of Adelheid happens, or is it just one of those things where it's like, oh, you can talk to them once. Relief funds will be even will eventually be used for the good of the town. Really, only five hundred gela? That's all it needs to restore the towns. There, do you need more? Thousand? Sure, why not? We're on our way to recovery. Engineer Tom is going to head up the reconstruction. Well, good. As far as I know, he's cool, cool about it. I wonder how much overall. Hmm. I'm going to go in and out. <laughs> that's. Um. That's terrible. But. Those with a less dirty mind will think of the burger joint. Better not be ripping me off, kid. Everyone's spirits are starting to brighten, but we need more money. Would you please donate 2000 Sure. Yes. Thanks. We cannot survive without these donations. The town is recovering slowly but surely with the help of the emergency funding. Seriously, if you guys are embezzling this shit, I'm gonna freaking gun you all down. That sounds terrible out of context. Don't take that out of context, please. I'm donating to people. I'm hoping they don't abuse that. Or they don't take advantage of it. Because who the hell would take advantage of that sort of thing? I hate that there's actual organizations in real life that would do that. That do do that. I... I'm pretty sure that um, I have to leave or at the least level up <laughs> in order to see, to see any differences in the town. But screw it. Watch, going to be 5,000 now that I've returned. Hello. Been a long way since the town was destroyed, but our job's not done yet. Would you please donate 5,000? Called it. Work together, organize, place, things, stuff. Okay. We're slowly regaining our, our strength. I, I've just donated like 10,000 gela. I don't know how much is required in order to restore the town itself. But good lord. How much more? <laughs> how much more? gonna be like oh, what are you running about hey, stop moving kid a lot of adventures I see I want to go no I've had enough kids we need to provide housing for the homeless which please donate 10,000 gala now we can have people returning to their homes I'm such a good guy guys good to indulge in peaceful living, but we must not forget the lessons of the past. I'm not sure what the hell you can do in order to defend yourself against freaking demons. Don't get me wrong. I understand that. I, I perfectly understand wanting to be prepared to fight against demons and whatnot, but man. You ain't gonna live. 
In the legend, the piece of missing heart of the giant is in the tri-pillar at the east end of the inner sea. Oh, should have talked to her in the first place. I have no money. I have no more money to donate to your causes. Money will be used well. Oh, thank crap it. <laughs> this is literally all my change, man. Feels like a lot of people are out here all of a sudden. Um... Okay. Hi. Town's cobblestone's cool. I guess I'll save? Dun 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 Yes, all I did was donate to the people, but, you know, that was like six minutes of me going back and forth, back and forth, and rather not have that have to do that again on my own time, or anyone's time. Oh. Blit. Alright. Finally, the giant's cradle. Cradle, not cradle. A large stone piece. Withered stuff, innocent heart. Alright. Um this place looks dezoited. Ruined even. I kinda felt I had that coming. Ah crap. This is gonna take all of my freaking willpower and knowledge to deal with, isn't it? Really? Okay. Okay. I got an idea. Nope. Um. Okay. I, you know what? I'll come back to you. I'll come. I'll come back to you. What the hell am I supposed to do there? Like I have a faint idea. Oh, you're new. The imps are new, not the vampires, obviously. Vampires we've met before. Vampires I can just blast the smithereens. Critical. It's so close to 666 damage that time. Well, apparently, screw that guy in particular. It wasn't really effective against him. Yeah, I don't know whether or not I've just not leveled up Cecilia enough. Or... Like, magic drops off in usefulness as I get later and later in the game. I'm hoping it's not the latter. Toy hammers. Mmm, confusion effects. Not gonna like that. Okay. Crests. This is the crib of eternal sleep. No one must interrupt it. Paranoia, paranoia, everything's gonna come and kill me. So now I'm saving. So how the hell am I supposed to... Okay, do I just jump in? No. We do not just jump down into the hole. Maybe I have to shoot at an angle to get that other one. Oh hey, it's our good buddy the Raid Buster. Uh, sure, why not? Let's analyze him really quick. <laughs> Let's analyze him before Jack destroys it. 25, 600, weakness of thunder! Cool! I love it when the weakness is a spell that is honestly kind of useless. I won't lie. It's a 
Cecilia is feeling more and more like the most useless character in the party. I mostly say that because... She started as a really decent damage dealer, like really good. Especially if you knew the element with which that, you know, to kill the things with. Now it's, it's just seeming more and more like... No? I don't know. Maybe it's probably just me. I have apples. Should probably no, only two apples. Uh A white pure pretty flower. I forgot I had that. I also forgot that I had these two freaking secret signs. Assumes less MP. Okay. Um. Shoot. I suppose the smart idea would be to use it on Meteor Dive so that I can just spam that. You know what? Meteor Dive and Heal Blade. Because Heal Blade actually did prove to be. Shut up. Heal Blade did actually prove to be rather useful. Alright. So, no. This is where using an analog stick would have been fantastic. Oh, goody. And... Excuse you. Okay, so the spears are pretty much guaranteed to hit you if you're Entering that space. That's good to know. Da -da 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 -da. It seems like a devious trap that I would try to come up with, though. Oh, hi. Wait, this might be like the one situation where a thunder attack might actually be useful. Excuse me while I clap my hands Home Alone style over my face in surprise. Stomach Buster! And of course, she doesn't even get to go next. No one still takes damage. It might honestly still just be easier for her to slow them down and then Rudy blast them with the Prism attack. Just saying. Oh, I see how this is going to go. Alright, push this here. Man, I think this might be one of the first more puzzle-oriented dungeons that I've faced in a long while. No, I don't count the Tri-Pillar. Tri-Pillar was a puzzle. This was a puzzle. Oh, <laughs> Nearly got me. Okay. Oh wow, those spikes actually last a while. Shit. Did I just... Eh, there we go. And... Boop. Okay. Around and around like a Ferris wheel we go. Ow. Got a potion berry. Worth it. <laughs> Ooh. They're getting devious with these traps. I really wasn't expecting the spears in the first place. Oh, hi. That's a lot of imps. Were these guys weak against anything in particular? Did I... Did I scan these guys and forget? I think I scanned these guys and forgot. I mean, Sonic Buster does the trick, so... So, Imp, 20, 450, Holy. I'm a little irritated at these things that are weak against Holy. I won't lie. And it's mostly because a lot of the... 
lot of these creatures are weak against holy and there's no actual holy spells. Like, I can... I got water, fire, earth, wind, thunder, heart! And... A spiritual attack? Is that holy? Is that considered a holy attack? Don't matter when your characters can deal nearly all the damage. <sighs> all right. Um, let's see here. Okay. That didn't go as planned. Oh, there's actually a little path right there. Never mind. Perception score? What's that? I'm good at seeing things. Oh boy. Okay. I see the plan. Slow and steady wins the race. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take the damage. Hello. Magic carrots. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Hi, what in the freaking love of Cthulhu? Analyze and then kill it with swords and guns and fire. Probably fire. It lived through a diving attack. Faller. Weak against fire. I gotta look. I just want to point out my love of how each of these creatures so far that have made me go, what the fuck, have been susceptible to fire, so the phrase, kill it with fire, is very applicable. I love it. And then I don't even kill them with fire. They're not as much experience as the owl runes were, though. Another magic carrots. Yeah, I'll heal up a little bit. Jonas, oh. Uh -huh. Ow. <laughs> I was gonna get hit by one. Pretty much figured that. Okay. Beer trap. Okay. So I gotta pretty much go right up to the spear trap and go, ha ha! Do I gotta fight that? Oh no, that's one of the golems, isn't it? Um. Anything else in here? The Fort of the Gods is an invulnerable machine protected by a magic seal. This is where the line blurs between defense and offense. Wait. Oh, is this the golem from the freaking beginning movie cutscene? Can it be? Another one sleeps in this desolate ruin. It's one of the eight powers from a thousand years ago. A weapon built by humans to fight the demon race. But well, what should we do now? We need to figure out how to operate this thing. I know it's an overwhelming feeling. So the only useful thing this does is fight? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You're gonna awaken it to fight? A sword is made for cutting and a spear for stabbing. Mercy is precious, but mercy can also be an indulgence in a world like ours. I'm sorry, but... Let's ask that strange professor. She seems okay. You mean Emma? And Adelheid? We gotta go all the way back to Adelheid? Okay. I say all the way back like it's a problem and everything, but... Escape spell. <laughs> oh no, I gotta go all the way back to Hidalhide. 
he says, being able to just teleport out of the ruins. There was barely even going to be a random encounter. I was literally inches away from the walls of Edelheim. This will be your doom, pillbug. That's like an overkill of 600 points. That was an overkill of maybe 290. Now I got the hiccups. Ba, 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 ba. Town's still not looking that good. Just saying. Where's all my money going? Ah, quick rest. Alright. Um, where was she? She was not... That's right, she had her own workshop. She perhaps back in her workshop? Where was her workshop, now that I think about it? Yeah, I kept on entering this house thinking it was the mayor's, for some reason. Boy, how was I a little dumb on that? We just fix whatever is broken. No big deal. Right, you were the apprentice. Shall I take a look at your arms? I doubt that I can afford anything. 300 gala, okay. 700 now. 500, that'll be fine. Pretty much the one guide I've been using um, when I get terribly lost tells me that anything under 80%, I should probably just go and use uh, a force in order to use a force. You found another golem in the back of the ruin? Please, take me there. You won't be sorry. I have experience from the Tomb of Lilithia, remember? Lucky for you, and lucky for me. Why do I feel like I'm the only one talking here? I guess we have the traits of a person born to be in charge. Okay, the guy defense force. Let's go take a look at this golem. Wait, do I have to go through the entirety of the place all over again? I better save just in case something terrible happens. Like my disc suddenly deciding not to work. Seriously, those those freaking weird sound errors were kind of freaking me out. Because there's a good shot that like I would have had to redo the last two or so hours of recording. Bam, 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 bam. Go away. Please tell me I don't have to walk through this entire place all over again. I never thought I would see this while still in my 30s. Hey, you guys, this is great. You must have great, good karma like me. I'm gonna check it out. Hey, Mousy, give me a hand. You look like a candidate. What? What does that mean? Five days later. Here's what I've learned so far. I'll... I call this guy the Earth Golem. I found some ancient writing on him pertaining to the Fort of the Gods. It's written on the shield mechanism located on both sides of the arms. Since the ruin is in such good condition, the golem is in perfect working order. The thing just stopped working right now. It's alive. Unlike Lolithia, this golem is just sleeping. I've tried to wake it, but it needs more than a little shove. Don't worry, when it comes to these matters, there's nothing I can't do. Let's go, Mousy. Try again. Why won't you wake up? Get up. Why? After a thousand years, nothing has changed. 
People just want to use me as a weapon. I was born in a house that was a little different from ordinary people. As I grew up, I looked after every inch of the way. What was really important for the people was the symbol I represented. Everyone thinks that because I'm royalty, I'm expected to act as one. The people only like me because I'm the princess. Sorry, I didn't mean to tell you all my problems. I thought you might understand. You didn't want to be born as a weapon either. You can understand me? No, everyone wants to use you as a weapon. No one must know that you are awake. Please remain asleep until this is over. If you can hear past my voices, you can hear the cries of the people under fire. You must wake of your own free will. How? I tried everything and nada. You, what did you do? Nothing, I was just talking to it. I decided it decided on its own to get up. Who the hell cares? We now have the power. We have the ancient antidote to the demons. No, it's not our weapon. It's joining us as a member of the group. Hey guys. See? The Earth Golem is in agreement. The voice pattern of the princess is now registered in the golem's memory. Please, m lend me your big hand for the future. A future where you're no, need no longer needed as a weapon. Drive the Earth Golem, walk, walk to the Golem and push the Accept button. You can dismount the Golem by pressing the Cancel button. It's large enough to walk across shallow water, but too large to go through a forest. Shields on both arms keep enemies away while traveling. It's a little low on output. Too bad we can't expect more from it. I sure would like to upgrade its shields. It's a defensive Golem. It's not made for battle, but it can cover a lot of ground. I have to get back to Edelheid to study the data from this discovery. I have a few things to try out. I'd like to do... It could... It could lend... It could lead... Sorry. It could lead to a new Emma motor. I... And then she just takes our ship. Okay. She took our ship, but then she returned. I now have a golem. A golem that I cannot use in the ship. Which makes sense, because it is massive AF. I'm gonna save and call it an episode. This feels like it just hit a completely different chapter of the game. Where the hell am I gonna go now? Oh, there are several locations that I hadn't been to yet along the outside. Along the outer sea. Uh, think about it. Do I even need to. Ow, rest. Yeah, okay, cool. Fine, we got a freaking golem. I mean, I guess it ain't no airship, but it's a freaking golem. That's awesome. So it can't fight, but it can defend just fine. So that's good. That that works for me. Riding a goddamn golem is awesome in my book. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, call an episode here. When we return, we're gonna see just what this uh, golem can do. 
and hopefully maybe Edelheid will see some of that nearly 20,000 gilla that I invested into it put towards repairs and shit just open well thank you everyone so very much for watching I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it and as always I hope to see you guys in the next video take care cheers